Soroka Fortress, located in the town of Soroka in northern Moldova, has a rich history dating back to the 15th and 16th centuries. It was built during the reign of Stephen the Great, the ruler of Moldavia, as part of a defensive system to protect the region from invading forces particularly the Ottoman Empire and the Crimean Tatars, hash 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 key historical phases. Initial Wooden Fort, 1499. The first fort at Soroka was constructed from wood around 1499 on the orders of Stephen the Great. It was part of a network of fortifications built along the Dniester River, serving as a crucial defense against invaders from the east. Stone Fortress, 1543-1546 Under the reign of Stephen's son, Petru Raris, the fortress was rebuilt from stone between 1543 and 1546. This stone structure has survived to this day. The fortress was designed as a perfect circle, symbolizing the military engineering excellence of the time. It featured five bastions and was strategically located on a high bank of the Dniester River, overlooking the river's crossing point. Throughout its history, Soroka Fortress played a critical role in the defense of the region, facing numerous invasions and sieges. It was part of the defense network used during conflicts between Moldavia and the Ottoman Empire, as well as in the battles involving Poland, the Russian Empire, and the Habsburgs. By the 18th century, with the changing nature of warfare and advances in artillery, the fortress lost its strategic significance and fell into partial disrepair. However, it remained an important historical symbol of Moldavian resistance. In the 20th century, the fortress was restored and became a national historical monument in Moldova. Today, it is a popular tourist attraction showcasing Moldova's medieval history and serving as a symbol of national pride. The circular layout, strong walls, and strategic positioning made Soroka Fortress a notable example of medieval fortification in Eastern Europe. Its historical significance lies in its role as a defensive structure during a turbulent period of Moldavian history and its lasting presence as a cultural and architectural treasure.